the ghost in the attic. Frank and Nancy were busy exploring the weird old house their family had just moved into. Tucked into the back of an old book was an old drawing folded so long ago it was cracking at the creases. It was a drawing of their own house, and the attic was specially marked with an X and a skull and crossbones next to it. This looked exciting. Maybe there was a treasure in their own attic. So while their parents were busy unpacking in another room of the house, Nancy and Frank started to climb the stairs leading to the attic. Nearing the top, they felt an icy wind blowing against them, as if warning them against climbing further. From somewhere way downstairs, they heard the melancholy sound of the old clock tolling the hour. Now they were standing at the attic door. Nancy tried opening it, but it wouldn't give. It was as if someone or something was on the other side, holding the knob and pushing back against the door so it couldn't be opened. They pushed together, and slowly it opened. Inside, there was more of the icy wind. Suddenly, they heard a ghostly sound. Never mind, said Nancy. We've got to look for the treasure. They saw that the X mark on the drawing showed a space on the other side of the attic. It was a blank wall. They went over and ran their hands along it. Suddenly, from behind the wall, they felt and heard a knock. And again, the ghostly moans and something even worse. Let's get out of here, said Frank. But Nancy reminded him they'd always dreamed of finding a treasure someday. So they searched the wall some more and found a loose board in it. They both grabbed it and started to pull. And with the help of an old iron bar lying on the floor nearby, they managed to pry it off. Inside was a shallow space where they could just make out something hanging on the nail. It was an old uniform coat. Next to it was an old portrait of a man in uniform. They reached in to lift them out. As their hands touched the coat and portrait, the room suddenly became very dark, and there was a huge clap of thunder with lightning and horrible sounds. portrait crumbled to dust in their very hands. In shock, they turned and ran out of the attic and down the stairs, the sounds echoing behind them all the 